to look for things that are going to help you. So one of the things I carry, um, I carry what I call my um, foraging bag, basically. It's a small bag that I use to um, pick up bits and pieces as I go along, and it's an inexpensive item. Um, so what we'll do, we'll have a look at my bag. Get used to using this new camera. And on this clip here, easier for myself there we have this this little bag um, this bag here is from one of the UK supermarket chains and it is, it is a, a basically a, an emergency shopping bag it's a little light thing packs away to nothing hangs on my bag yeah um, but then when I need it comes off and makes me quite a nice little foraging bag it's super lightweight um, it would even double up as a water filter in an emergency um, so then I can use that and as I'm doing today I've come across some silver birch that's well rotted here and I'm going to harvest myself a little bit of birch bark now this is a new Easy shelter. So, find my long edges. Very basic, very simple, um, not the best one I've ever built, but a demonstration that would keep the rain off me. 
that would keep the wind off me if the back was into the wind not the best spot here for me to do this but however um, location 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 um, personally I would normally run a single line across and I do do prefer to sort of set up my rig a bit more sturdy but this took me a minute minute and a half to put up if it was hammering down with rain and we had a situation it's a shelter I could get myself or somebody else out of the rain um, ideally drop down to the next islet down and have a flap on the front that would help you out um, or you could run from the center and just form a V as a tent shelter there's many options and I'm going to get a bit more into that the further on we go with these videos but what I don't want to do is is, is really use everything I've got in my toy box now I want to I want to wait until we can uh, use it all right guys see noise on right so I bought a uh, or my wife bought me a firebox from Amazon it was dirt cheap it really was dirt cheap so we thought we'd give it a go do it as a bit of a review see how it works um, I will be honest with you, I'm not somebody that normally uses bush boxes or fire boxes, but I thought it's time to learn, time to give it a go. So it came in this bag, uh, the bag's pants. Um, it looked quite good when we first got it, it's falling apart. The zipper went within a day, so and it's starting to wear through on the corners. Um, so yeah, bag quality not so good stove itself yeah quite impressed with the, the structure however when they manufactured it they left the blue plastic that they coat the stainless steel in so it doesn't mark they left it on it and then they folded it and they put the hinges on so when you peel the plastic off you can't get it off from behind the hinges you can't get it off from under the folds be interested to see how smoky that is but the actual construction of it I'm fairly impressed if it holds up as well as it looks then I will probably forgive the plastic and I would probably forgive the the naff bag but uh, yeah we will we'll set it up we'll fire it up and we will see how it goes um, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee on it and uh, then I'm gonna show you these new rations um, see what you think of those they, they really are quite smart um, a, a, quite an answer to guys that are going out in the vehicle if you're a long haul lorry driver or somebody that's going to spend a long trip in a car you want something as a backup emergency these are going to be ideal so uh, we'll try and turn that on to you guys so that you can see it well enough hopefully the video it's a new camera hopefully this is all close enough and you're going to be able to see it with, with good enough detail in actual fact i think i'm going to change the camera position slightly and uh, see if we can get a little bit more in-depth footage well but the plastic's burning off um, i'm here with my mate murph water is heating you notice how I've got the handle coming off to the side and not over the door so it doesn't get hot so I can lift that pot quite easy like that and obviously pour my coffee out without burning my hands uh, problem with this stove as with all these sorts of things you're going to need to fuel it often and fast um, small bits of wood Don't, I would I would have thought don't let it burn down too far um, or what you're going to find is you'll lose the heat quite quickly to your fire um, so place some more wood on see how it goes chance to build back up again so yeah it does burn down quite quickly um, that's to be expected of something of that design you see it's only designed to burn off small bits of wood um, 
wood preparation is going to be your key it's going to be get your timber get your wood and prepare your wood and make sure your wood supplied near you I'm sorry I'm actually quite surprised how fast it burns through the wood um, that was a bit of a shock to the system but hey ho it's going to boil that water and uh, as you notice I've left the sticks fairly long so we can keep feeding those in so they will keep feeding in as they burn down now and that will control the heat water is coming to a very very gentle uh, bubble but we will let that as we always do get to a really good simmer before we use it yeah so but that is that is the what I will refer to as the cheap Amazon bush box folding bush box bags rubbish the the way they send it to you covered in that blue plastic is pants however from what I've seen so far making one cup of tea and a fire is sufficient does the job if you haven't got a big budget um, like myself I've got a tiny budget so if you've got you got a small budget and you want something simple yeah go with it go with it I won't I won't knock it it's doing exactly what it says on the tin it is a bush box um, I will have a look at it over the next few weeks and use it a couple more times see how it distorts see if anything bends breaks or gets out of shape um, and we'll see how it goes but yeah it's sufficient it's sufficient so how are you guys keeping hope you're all good um, all the other youtubers out there the guys that are doing this sort of thing um, yeah keep it going guys um, it's getting more and more popular from the looks of it people seem to enjoy it to my American friends hiya I hope you're all good out there um, I hope you've all managed to get outside and enjoy the fresh air same in the sorry, same for anybody actually whether in the UK you Europe wherever you are you know if you can get outside and get some fresh air get some Sun on your skin or even get some rain on you it's uh, it's a good thing a bit one with nature it's where we're supposed to be um, yeah other than that I'm good it's been a funny old week um, bought the new cameras I'm trying these out today hopefully they're better I ordered a media mod I bought the GoPro 9 um, because it was offered to me at the right price on a budget and um, I've also bought the media mod for it which hasn't come yet which apparently will improve the sound um, so we'll, we'll see how it goes hopefully I haven't wasted my money um, that's it water's come to a boil so bush box boiling water for making tea and coffee yes it works brilliant yeah we'll have that we'll take that um, it's one of those things as with any small fire box like this it is going to be a constant um, feed it's going to be a constant maintenance to keep the, the, the heat and the temperature going however it does what it says on the tin it will be two cups worth of water in no time at all so that's made me coffee I'm happy with that Feed those sticks in. Oh, sorry, Murph, knocked you over. There, got to be careful, you're one legged Smurf. Right. Right, guys, so here's one for you. You're out in your vehicle. You're prepping for your winter, you're prepping for your vehicle, whether you're a van driver, a lorry driver, a taxi driver, you're just somebody that does a lot of mileage in cars, and you're prepping for your winter. Here's one I can recommend to you. Um, this company, I've had to buy this, hasn't been sent to me or anything, but I've used them before. It's what I keep at the bottom of the bag for a real emergency. It's a hot pack. Uh, it's actually made by a company called Hot Pack, and if you want to look these up, it is hotpackmeals.co.uk. Now, what you get in these is quite nice. Can't always light a fire. Be a side of the motorway stuck. 
Um, you could be basically anywhere stuck. So you get the hot pack meal. So firstly, in the hot pack meal, you get a fork or spork. That spork is essential. You'll want that. That's handy. So that means you've got that. And then you get this bag. Now this bag is actually the cooker. This is based on the American MRE heating system. And I warn you now, it is fast, it's efficient. Read the instructions, follow the instructions, okay? This is not something to be played with. <coughs> and don't drink the water after it's heated. That water is contaminated by the chemicals in here. So that's not a water you can use in a brew. However, you can put it into a bottle or a container and use it to warm yourself, okay? So it's dead easy to do. The meal I've got today is a chicken con carne. You tear the top off the bag, it's simple as that. And then on the bag, you've got a water level here. Okay, add water to that level. Well, as I've, I've found, place the meal within the bag, scrunch the meal down. Same as you would with a normal ration pack. So you scrunch the meal to the bottom of the, the ration pack itself. You've got a sealing tape here, which before you put the water in, you want to peel back. Take your water, it's just cold water. And the bonus for this system, it doesn't need to be good water, it can be dirty water, it's not coming into contact with the food. Add the water. Roll the pack up. Seal the lid. Don't seal the lid too tightly. This is going to generate steam pressure. Seal it. Give it a good shake. The water onto the activation pad. rapid expansion of steam as the water reacts with the chemicals and believe it or not that water is boiling that water is now boiling and it's heating my mill it's a very very simple system it works well it's worked, worked brilliantly for the American military um, I like it as a, as a backup, there's nothing better than actually having a fire or enjoying a fire. Um, but as, as an emergency backup for your kit, to be able to heat a meal in an emergency without lighting a fire, without having a naked flame, it's ideal. The other bonus is after you've eaten your meal, you've got a warm liquid in there. Like I say, you, you can warm your hands, put your gloves on it, put your socks on it warm things through using the heat source that's in there what i have experimented with in the past is adding a little bit more water to it and seeing if it'll regenerate sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't it's not something i would rely on um it, yeah it's hot no two ways about it i mean that is scalders And uh, you just leave that. You leave it for a few minutes and it goes away. So that's going to be my dinner. That's my coffee. Cheers, guys. And again, um, it's an instant coffee. It's an instant coffee white with two sugars. I also carry um, the blue packs, which have got no sugar in them. And I have also, because people have said to me, oh, they don't take milk, I've started carrying a couple of instant black coffees 
you know, at the end of the day, for what it takes to pack one those away, carry them in a pack, carry something like that in the boot of the car, carry a gas cooker if you need it to boil your water. Um, you know, my recommendation, and will always be my recommendation to people, um, MSR gas stoves. Um, they, they, they are superb. They're designed originally for mountain rescue. Um, they're a favourite of the Royal Marines. Um, lots of people use them for, for outdoors, camping, survival and that. They're a great little system and they're, they're inexpensive. Um, if you go online and have a look, you'll be quite surprised compared to some of the other main brand names. MSR for whatever, they've managed to keep their prices at a sensible level which is appreciated by people like me. Um, again, I'm at, the, I'm at the budget end, you know, I've, I've seen some of, the, some of the other YouTube guys, and no disrespect to you guys, you've done that well with your numbers and that, you've got companies sending you stuff, um, you've got deals going, that's brilliant, fantastic. Me, I'm just an ordinary guy, I've got no deals, no nothing with nobody, everything has to be paid for. The GoPro that I bought, I've been saying for a month and a half now that I was gonna improve the camera system, yeah, I, I, I had to sell some bits and pieces to get a budget together to get that camera and I'm filming this with my fingers crossed that it's going to be better quality sound and a better quality image for you. If not, I've just wasted a lot of money I couldn't afford to spend. However, I digress. It's all movements, it's all movements forward. So we, we selected five. Again, budgets. Um, out of those five, we selected one. So Ian Hillier. Um, the bag's on its way to you. In actual fact, you should have got it by now with any luck. Mate, cracking. Get your boy out there. Have a go with it. The only thing I'll say about the flint and steel is watch your fingers when you're doing it. Watch my videos on how it's done. Take your time. Time of practice. You'll actually be surprised how quickly you pick it up. Um, but anyhow, good on you. Um, have fun. Stay with the channel. Um, we're now looking at what we're going to do. We don't know... In fact, I want you guys to comment. Do we do a 200 subscriber giveaway? Do we do a 250 giveaway? Do we wait till we get to 500? I don't know what the score is or even what other people do. You let me know what you want. It's, I keep saying to you, it's your channel as well as mine. So we'll, we'll go with that. Anyhow, that bag. Ooh, it's good and hot now. So opening these up, watch yourselves for steam. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of steam coming out of there. Take my ball in the bag out. So that now, yeah, that's yeah. I don't even. I couldn't touch that, but I fold that up. Use it as a heat source, and um, you know, stick your socks over it. In fact, that water start to boil again. There, you could stick your socks over it. You could. I don't know if you can see on the camera. It's, it's bubbling away in there like a good one. Yeah. So you could use that as a continual heat source for however long you needed it. And bear in mind, oh, I'm going to tie now. I'm going to, I'm going to chuck another load of water in there, well over what was the, the level, and see if I can warm that water as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's starting to bubble. Now again, I'm not warming this as a drink. I'm warming this as a heat source. So I'm thinking to myself, if I if I warm that water in there, if I was in a survival situation and it was brutally cold, I could warm that in there. Can I get it to a level where it can stop me getting hypothermia? Can I put it into a container like that and then I've got to warm a heat source that I can put up my front? Um, yeah, you can, you can put on, hey, do all sorts with it, dry socks, imagination. Um, but again, I wouldn't drink that water because I believe the, the chemicals in that bag are quite toxic. There you go, Murph. I keep it warm for a bit. So, chili con carne, wayfarer meal. Oh, it's not a wayfarer, it's, it looks like it, is it? Yes, yeah, civilian version of the military ration pack. So, there we go. I've not had a chili con carne in a while. Steaming hot. Oh, it's actually looking 
look quite nice. Lots of rice, lots of meat. Uh, I don't know if you can see that in there. Uh, and again, ooh, that's nice. Yeah, so if you were uh, stuck out in your vehicle overnight on the side of the road, that's to get you by. It is to get you by. So we've done the bushcraft box. We've had a coffee. We've done a very, very basic shelter, which I'm not particularly proud of. Could do a lot better than that. However, it would do an emergency. We've had a chat about vehicles. We've had a chat about the subscriber giveaway, which was brilliant. All I can say, guys, is thank you for sticking with me. Hopefully this GoPro's worked out better. I won't know until I get home and edit it. Um, hopefully the editing's getting better as well. Um, all the best to you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If there's something I'm doing you don't like, bugs you, you're annoyed with it, as you'll see if you look through the comments section, I don't get offended. It's a learning curve. As long as you're not abusive about it, let me know and then I can, I can look at it and change what I'm doing. If there's something you really want to see um, within within sort of budget and sense, let me know as well. Stick it in the comments uh, and I'll endeavour to do that for you. You know, it's our channel. I share it with you guys. Yeah. I do this channel because one of my sons lives abroad. This is a way he gets to catch up with what I'm doing and he's a great outdoorsman himself. Um, it's a way of me leaving something for my granddaughter to see. If God forbid anything happened, or touch wood, anything happened to me, she's got this to look back on. It's to try and encourage other people to give it a go, get out there, enjoy the great outdoors. I've been an outdoorsman my entire life, um, and it's done me good. It's helped me through lots of stress and strains through life. So anyhow, I'm waffling. Got to stop waffling. Guys, this has been Hampshire Outdoors and Survival. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a cracking day where you are, wherever you are. I hope your day's as good as mine. Love and light to you all. Mick out. Mm -mm -mm.